C. Youth. TV. <laughs> Hey, everybody. We hope you are doing well on this Wednesday in your spring break. Uh, today, Jelly and I want to come on here and tell you guys about something called soap. And we're not talking about the bar. We're not talking about the body wash. We're talking about something different. Jelly, could you please explain? Yeah, so soap is a devotional method that we use um, as a church, really. Um, and by devotional method, it's basically a way that you can read your Bible and study it, right? Just like you guys study your tests and, and different stuff like that. This is a perfect way for us to do that. And we call it soap because it's an acronym so it stands for four different things so the s in soap stands for scripture so basically in order for you to study the bible you have to read the bible so um with the scripture what you do is you read a passage of um of the bible and what you do is you choose a verse or m multiple verses that if you're like that big right if you're that smart and multiple verses to stand mm. out to you <laughs> you're very holy you, <laughs> super holy you go ahead and choose that verse right and then you write it down then you move on to the second part of um, the acronym, which is an O. And the O stands for observation. Basically, what you ask yourself during this time is, why did I choose the scripture? What stands out to me about it, right? And you don't have to go into like this one page essay, right? It can be short and simple. Like, I like how Jesus tells us to love others, right? It stands out to me because even Jesus lived an example of that, right? So, mm -hmm. so forth. And then you move on to your third portion, and that is application. And the application, basically, what you do is you ask yourself, what can I do to begin to apply this verse into my life? Because you guys, we can apply every single scripture in the Bible, every single one to our life. And there's practical steps that you can take. So for you, maybe it's like, okay, I need to start reading my Bible more, or I need to start loving my parents more. And you start mm -hmm. writing that in your application. And then you move on to your fourth portion, which stands for prayer. And basically you write out a little prayer, or you can even just, what I do is I don't even fill that portion out, honestly. I just like put prayer and I close my journal or my laptop and I just start praying and what I ask in this time is one I thank God for the revelation of scripture that he gave me right for allowing me to learn what he's teaching me through the Bible and then what I ask is that he helps me do everything that I have placed on the application portion and say okay mm. God like I am trying to live this life and to live this scripture out help me throughout my week to do so help that's me good. throughout my day that's good and so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go through the soap process uh, along with you guys. We don't yeah. want to just teach you, but we want you to have an actual example from us. Um, and so what we're going to do is we are going to get a random Bible passage. And the way we're doing it is we found out that there are a total of 200 and let me look at the board behind me. 260 different ver uh, chapters in the New Testament. So That's a lot. Uh, hey, Google. Could you give me a number between 1 and 260? Let's see what we find. Drum roll. For your ASMR people. 80. And the number is 80. The number is 80. So and so that is... We're going to have to look at our board and figure out which one is the 80th is chapter. Plus 21. We will be right back. Two hours later. John Thank you, Benjamin, 12. who is better at math than all of us. Uh, John <laughs> of us chapter 12. <laughs> yes, that is what we are going to be in today. And so uh, before we get started, uh, you're going to need a couple things. You are going to need a Bible. Uh, if you don't have an actual one, it's okay. We are not holier than thou. Thank God for technology. Um, there is a Bible app that you can download for free. Thank God for that. Mm -hmm. On your phone, you just literally go to the App Store, look at Bible app, and it is the first one. It's a brown little Bible. You can download that totally free if you don't have an app store uh, or you don't have a smartphone there is something called biblegateway.com uh, you literally go to that make sure that on the version you use the nlt that's the one we found is most clear for you guys it's most understandable and we don't want you reading king james with all the thou's and great and all those i think i've only read king james like one time and by force like i had to i didn't have anything else were you a child i think so yeah, yeah. i didn't understand i'm things. sorry mm. yeah so we don't want that to happen to you so please uh go ahead and pause this video go ahead and start getting those things together and then come back and we're going to soap this chapter together all right so you got your bible and your journal and you are ready while you were gone and getting all that stuff ready uh alex and i already read john 12 um and here's some footage of that you guys can go ahead and see that
Yeah, so none of this is scripted, by the way. We This is raw. This is real-time kind of stuff that we're doing. Um, we wanted to make sure that you all can know that this is a natural thing. This isn't something that uh, like only qualified pastors can do. Yeah. Um, it, this is something that you could do super easy. We just did it. It took us no longer than 15 minutes. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, you could do this. You, you got time. You're on spring break. So um, here's what we did. So we are in John chapter 12. Uh, I am focusing on... On verses 1 through 7. Uh, this is a story of Mary anointing Jesus with the very expensive perfume. This is like, if you are a perfume or a cologne person, um, you know how expensive those things can get. Yeah. These things aren't cheap. Uh, same thing with the perfume that uh, Mary anointed Jesus with. Now, what I was thinking was, if you didn't know the background of this story, is that Jesus has just raised Lazarus from the dead. Yeah. And uh, much like Hispanics, um, Israelites are a lot like us in the sense that they threw a pachanga to celebrate. And so there's a big old dinner going on in honor of Jesus, in honor of the fact that Lazarus was once dead, now he's alive. Um, If first century Israelites are anything like Hispanics, you do not do anything that will draw attention away from the person who's being honored onto yourself. Mm -hmm. Or you don't embarrass yourself. That's like next to death in Hispanic culture. Um, So here's Mary seeing Jesus, and she is wanting to do something as a way of saying, Jesus, I give you everything. But my guess is that this girl had that fear kind of holding her back. And on top of that, this girl had a past. She wasn't the most holy of people, you would say. Um, In Luke chapter 8, if I'm not mistaken, uh, she is labeled as one of the people who Jesus delivered, that's a fancy Christian term, but set free from demonic power. So this girl was possessed by demons. Yeah, she's not, she's not holy. So, <laughs> now she is, right? Now, now she, she is. is, now yes. she's fine. But here she is. Um, my guess is she's got that pressure of, oh my gosh, I'm about to take attention away from everybody onto myself. And then on top of that, my guess is because the devil is the devil. Yeah. He is whispering in her ear saying, you are not worthy to approach Jesus. Mm-hmm. He's not going to accept your sacrifice. He's not going to accept your offering yeah. because you are dirty. Yeah. But in light of all that, she pushed past, poured this oil out on Jesus, wiped his feet with her hair as a way of saying, I got nothing. I'm going to give you everything, Jesus. Here's my hair. And another passage of scripture says she uses even her tears to wipe away the oil. Yeah. And again, first century Israelites, a lot like Hispanics, Judas gets upset. He's like, yo, (laughs) that perfume was expensive, girl. That's some Creed status or uh, some Michael, what is it? Mark Jacobs? Mark Jacobs. Is that what you use? Mark Jacobs. Um, Expensive stuff. And he's like, girl, you could use that to like help the poor, even though the brother wasn't focusing on the poor. He was thinking about himself. And so here comes the immediate embarrassment. And my guess is Mary is thinking like, shoot, I knew I shouldn't have done this. I knew they were going to call me out. Oh, but then Jesus comes to her defense and says, hey, 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 hey. I accept this girl's offering, Mm -hmm. and I accept this woman just as she is. Yeah, that's good. And so, for me, it's like, there there are moments in my life where I feel dirty, Mm -hmm. and I feel like, man, I can't approach Jesus because... I, I did X, Y, and Z, and, I'm, and I have all these reasons in my head, and I'm like, man, I just want to give Jesus everything, but I'm not as holy as somebody like Pastor John, or yeah. I'm not as holy as Carl Farmer, you know, and I'm looking at this, and I'm like, there's no way, but then I read the story, and it's like, man, Jesus is so loving, right. he's so much better than I think he is, and if I just come to a place and give him everything, he accepts it, and he loves me, yeah. and I'm safe with him, Yeah. and that's so, good. yeah, that's... I love that. What I took from it. That's so. awesome. Yeah. So that's cool. You're going to be able to see our different personalities in this. So like for Alex, he got a whole, like a story and um, he's, his brain process is different now, like, which is for a lot of people, you're just like story oriented and mm-hmm. like you love to, because ever since you've started, I believe like everything mm-hmm. about like your revelations with God always like tie into something that God reveals through a story for you personally. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I chose um, one scripture um, and it's John 12:50. So if we look at that, it says, um, and I know his commands lead to eternal life. So I say whatever the father tells me to say. And um, so this scripture just really, I I, I was looking at another scripture. I was looking at also verse 46, but this scripture, I couldn't like shake it off. I was like, no, this is really, really good. You see, because Jesus says in the the Bible in its entirety, Jesus is our example, right? Mm -hmm. Like he is 
what we follow um, right. more than Justin Bieber or more than like even Hailey Bieber or Charlie D'Amelio for like all these girls that are loving TikTok right now. No idea who that guy is. <laughs> more than wanting to be like um, celebrities or um, even our parents, uh, we mm-hmm. should strive to be like Jesus, yeah. right? And Jesus makes a statement really, really clear here. He says that he knows that God's guidelines will lead to eternal life. That he knows that God's guidelines have more benefits than this world does, right? So I'm like looking at that, and I'm like, dude, that's so good. And what what strikes, what what really stood out to me was where he says, "So I say whatever the Father tells me to say," which leads me to know that Jesus was quick to be obedient to God above anybody else, right? Because even before then, he's saying some things that are a little heated, mm-hmm. and he's telling um, the crowd basically like, "If you follow me, like you're gonna be great. If you don't follow me, you're gonna live in the dark. And people that don't follow me, you're gonna be judged." And he's saying all these things, mm-hmm. and I'm pretty sure people's faces are like, oh, "How dare you!" Mm-hmm. Like. What do you mean Mm -hmm. that I'm going to fall into this, right? And for Jesus, he makes a statement and he says, look, guys, I came because God told me to come and I'm telling you these things because God told me to tell them to you. Ultimately, I am obedient to God because Mm -hmm. he comes first and he I have more benefits following God than pleasing you guys. So I will do and and say whatever God tells me to say. Mm -hmm. Right. So for me, what I took, I was like, okay. If I'm supposed to be following Jesus as an example, Mm -hmm. my question for me is, um, am I quick to be obedient to God? As quick as Jesus was, right? Jesus is stepping on some toes. Jesus is making people upset. Jesus is making decisions that are just so contrary to what the world and the culture that he's living in is doing. And people are upset about it. Mm -hmm. But he was willing to do that. So for me, it's like, okay the is the world because for us as christians what we struggle with and this is the main reason i think i struggle with being obedient is because the world is still some somewhat important to me yeah like what people say is important to me what people think of me is important to me so when i'm making decisions i have that filter in the back of my mind but when i look at jesus's life the world wasn't important to him heaven was important to him Mm -hmm. So even for me, it's like, okay, if I'm not quick to be obedient, then I have to look at my life and say like, okay, is the world more important or is heaven more important? Yeah. And now looking at that and being like, okay, no, like I want to live the way Jesus did. So if Jesus, if, if heaven was more important for Jesus, then heaven has to be more important for me. So then what do I do to get there? And that's where I love that last portion of scripture that says, so whatever the father tells me to say, and, and he doesn't say this, but Jesus is going to back me up. I know it (laughs) with whatever I'm going to say here, but my my application for myself is okay say what god says to say Mm -hmm. and this i don't mean like don't be rude to people right like don't be like you're going to hell like no yeah be be polite (laughs) be nice but there's sometimes moments where you're walking down the street right and um you look at someone and you think like oh they're really pretty right Mm -hmm. like not in a less not not in a weird way weird boys not flirting Mm -mm. okay it's not what i'm saying Mm -mm -mm. um if you like a okay dudes if you like a a guy's shirt right and you're walking down the street and you feel like maybe compliment him just say it just be like dude your shirt's really cool for girls just be like hey your hair looks really pretty today and like just loving on people and um allowing whatever god maybe god tells you to pray for someone being bold enough to be like okay Mm -hmm. i am saying whatever god is telling me to say right now and you go out and you be obedient in that and then my other part for me was do what god says to do Mm -hmm. right um if heaven is more important than the actions right we have our our guidelines here right like god speaks to us through the bible and then god also speaks through us through like videos like some Mm -hmm. god is speaking to you guys right now through this Mm -hmm. so what are things that god tells you to do right now and for me it's like okay i have to guys tiktok oh my gosh it takes up so much time i just i can't help it delete the app yeah if you need to delete the app and like for me i've had to put restrictions on myself Mm -hmm. right that was something big that god was speaking to me about like throughout this past weekend actually because i was like god i'm so tired and like all of this stuff and he's like okay but you have time to spend on your phone Mm -hmm. i was like got him uh, okay i get it yeah right so it's like taking those actions and being like okay i'm not gonna spend as much time on my phone instead i'm gonna just listen to some worship music and clean my room right you there guys you clean your room come on somebody you make <laughs> your mom spring, happy it's spring break yeah. <laughs> come on you have time yeah you do <laughs> and so for me it's like okay when i'm obedient to god i win in this world and i also win in heaven when yeah. I am obedient or when I want to please the world, I win in this world for like 15 minutes. 
and then it's gone. Mm -hmm. So it's looking and being like, okay, what matters more to me? And just living through that. Yeah. So that's what I got from this scripture. Yeah, so. definitely. And those are those are definitely things that we can do. Um, and, and just like Jelly was saying earlier, like any anything, like, I mean, this chapter was a long chapter. Uh, my yeah. guess is you probably, like, <laughs> I was looking at this and I'm like, this is a lot longer than I was yeah. thinking. So sorry uh, if you're first time reading the bible you got 50 <laughs> verses they're not all this long i promise um but this this was a loaded chapter there was a yeah. lot of different things we could learn and so Seriously. all different things that god can teach us that we can do right now and that's the beautiful thing about the bible it's not this ancient book that's dated and doesn't apply to us anymore no it's yeah. still mean is meaningful exactly. and life-changing even now so and god still speaks to you through that so i we encourage you um write down right journal s-o-a-p right soap scripture O observation a application p stands for prayer and what you guys can do is either comment below like what scripture stood out to you right yeah. or even um call up one of your youth friends right and be like dude did you watch the video where like they did soap what scripture stood out to you let's talk about it and mm -hmm. that also helps you yeah. build community so Definitely. that's really good Definitely. want to encourage you on that but yeah. good stuff thank you guys so much for listening to us um talk about the bible <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and tuning in and just um being encouraged to do your devotional okay um so before we say bye do you want to go ahead and pray since that's sure. the last thing to do yeah that's the last thing to do yeah. let's do it uh well jesus i thank you so much uh for the bible and that we in this country have so many ways to get access to it um father you speak to us through this bible and so father we thank you for that um god we pray for every student who is going to be reading this book yes. uh, we pray that they would have open hearts and open minds god would they understand what's being taught god if they have questions i pray they're not afraid to ask us we're here to support and help them but more than anything father i pray that they learn how to hear the voice of god who is the best teacher in all existence jesus i know that as they read the bible their lives will change for the better so we pray that that happens in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen bye guys we'll see y'all later see you soon